Hello, hi there. Today we're gonna do, as promised in a previous video, um, I will name it as a NoFap and importance of the androgen receptors, this video, because it's a really, uh, it's totally linked to it. And I think there are pretty, there are lots of important informations in this video, as well in the previous video and some of the previous videos as well that I did on the NoFap. Uh, I didn't know that this connects so much, like uh, the how, how much affects the porn affects uh, your brain and body and chemistry and uh, brain signaling and so on and so on. So this, this video is kind of... Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it very simple and short because there is lots of uh, uh, scientific stuff and neuroscience and so on. Uh, so I'll try to keep it very simple and short to be able to for everyone to understand and to take something valuable from it. So let's start it. So as I named it over, over here, so NoFap, I think you're familiar with what NoFap means. If not, check out some of the previous videos of mine. So NoFap and androgen receptors, ARs. Uh, short from the androgen receptors. So androgen, androgen receptors are basically, uh, as the same as the name says by itself. Uh, so they're receiving androgens, and androgens are basically one of them is testosterone. So everyone knows, I think, what the testosterone is. Basically, hum uh, the male males are having it. Let, let's say around uh, 80% and 20% estrogen in the body and uh, the same for the woman but opposite. So estrogen is the in a woman's usually around 80% and 20% is the testosterone. So that's why I wrote here above. So here is written uh, androgen and then testosterone receptors because one of the receptors that the uh, androgen receptors are receiving is testosterone, one of them. So basically, let's, let's talk about uh, the NoFap and how the, the, the porn affects uh, your brain, uh, your body chemistry and uh, signaling in the brain and so on and so on. So first thing that I wrote here is basically uh, this is, uh, I was reading lots of uh, scientific papers, researchers and so on. So for this video, that's why it took me like uh, a lot of time. And I started doing some new jobs. So that's why it started, uh, it took a bit more time to make this video, to put everything together, to really understand it and to be very simple. So basically, ejaculation to the point of sexual satiation triggers multiple brain changes. So what are these uh, brain changes that, uh, like, as you're doing it, like, like porn, or like doing it once or twice or three times, doing the ejaculation per, per, uh, per watching the pornography, like in at once, so to say, uh, in one row. So what what kind of changes are uh, the uh, in the brain are happening uh, as you're doing that? So basically, the first one is a decline in androgen receptors, ARs. So basically, if you're doing ejaculating, watching the porn, all this package, all this effect equal to that, uh, basically, it comes to that point that uh, your androgen receptors, receptors of the, of the testosterone, decline because they cannot uh, deal with it because it's, it's overstimulation, <laughs> so basically, so to say. And the second thing, second part here is so what is happening? What are those changes in the in in the brain? Second one is uh, increase in estrogen receptors. So basically now it's going on a different way. It's not anymore testosterone that is uh, on the main lead. Now it's uh, estrogen. You know. So the third part is here uh, the most important, and I will tell you my story when I was a student and so on, what happened and so on, the, the personal experience of uh, while I was watching porn and so on, doing like masturbating on porn like constantly. So one of the things that happens, the brain changes as you're doing this. Check, wait just a second, I'll like put it a bit like this, maybe it's better. 
Um, so the third thing that happens in your brain, basically, I wrote it here, dopamine blocking, uh, overstimulation. So basically, what is happening is that uh, the, the porn uh, basically modifies dopamine signaling in the brain. So modifies dopamine signaling in the brain. And I think everyone knows what the dopamine is. In case you don't know, very simply put it is basically when you eat here, I, I drew <laughs> some kind of chocolate as you can see it here. So basically when you take the, cho the bite of chocolate, you get some uh, dopamine uh, shots, so to say, dopamine raises in your, in your uh, bloodstream and your brain and so on. And basically that's a kind of reward. It's more like anticipation of reward. So it's here written as well. So dopamine is very, very linked to the motivation and very, very linked to the, to the drive. And here I wrote it like equally, mostly is for anticipation, like anticipation of the experience. Like when you meet a girl, you know, and so on, so on, you, there's an anticipation, like you, you're waiting for that first kiss to happen. It's kind of like, that's that kind of dopamine, dopamine rising, like then that's that, that kind of good feeling that you feel as the same you get from the chocolate as well from the porn but watching porn that's a over stimulation of the chemicals and the brain signaling so it's both it's neuroscience and and chemistry <laughs> so both things are included which is leading to like over stimulation that is not normal to 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 our experiences in daily lives so basically here one a bit better explanation what the the androgen receptors are it's written here ars are helping a use of testosterone in body so without without uh, estrogen uh, androgen receptors uh, body cannot use basically testosterone and if you know, like everyone is taking the steroids and so on, like everyone is talking about testosterone, but I, I didn't know either this one. Basically, the, the testosterone, uh, you can have it like uh, thousand, thousands of liters, so to say, hypothetically, like in your body, in your bloodstream and everything. But if you don't have the androgen receptors that can use that testosterone and convert it in a, in a useful force, so to say, then it's useless, basically. It doesn't have to anything to do with the testosterone if you don't have to do androgen receptors, enough of the androgen receptors to receive the androgens, which are testosterone. So basically, higher the higher androgen receptors uh, density in your body uh, equal higher sex drive. And then here, the better sex drive, the more sex drive you have, uh, the more actions you will take, the more risk-taking uh, actions, and so on and so on. Uh, but the higher the uh, sex drive, that's uh, equal, uh, I wrote it here, better quality, better quality of sexual tra transformation. And this is a bit going already broad, like a, uh, like a bit uh, aside of this topic, because this is something else, what you can do with this all built up energy that is in your body, uh, when you're not uh, when you're not watching the porn when there is no porn in your life and that kind of stimulants so basically you can use this all that build up energy in something very very constructive which has been written like a hundred years ago in some books uh, one of the books that is uh, mentioning this very uh, open and uh, constructive so to say to for people to use it and recognize it it's written uh, here you can see it maybe the initials it's NH, uh, NH, um, from the Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich. There is a part in the book which is written about, uh, about sexual transformation. And that can lead basically uh, to the status of genius, if you use it, how, if you know how to use it. So this, this part, this here, this, is, this can be very, very like golden, this part here. If you know, if you understand, practice, uh, and put it in action, uh, sexual transformation. More about that, maybe I'll talk about in some videos, some other videos.
So, and uh, the last part here is uh, basically what is happening uh, when your brain is uh, on porn. There is a basically article as well, I think it's a book as well. Uh, it's called Your Brain on Porn. So I'll link all the, all the powerful articles, all the good things, like in, in the description. So you'll find the links about uh, this uh, study, about this experiment, about uh, this guy who wrote the book uh, and has a website, Your Brain on Porn. So credits, uh, credits to him because from him I learned a lot of things just from the one article. So, and one of the, lots of the stuff that are here are basically from that article, so credits to him. I'll put his name and uh, the link of the website where I found this study and everything. Uh, basically explanation about uh, porno and his effects. So the last thing is here, uh, when brain on porno, so basically what is happening then? Brain shuts down the dopamine signaling circuitry which leads to diminished libido decreased risk taking inability to focus so i was noticing the same thing so if you watch the previous video i think i mentioned there as well like uh, basically i couldn't focus i couldn't study uh, especially at university and in high school as well because I couldn't find way, my way out uh, to find something pleasurable. So that's why I'm, I was hooked up and many others uh, as well by watching porn and getting reward from it. But that reward is uh, basically destroying. Um, it's scientifically proven uh, that uh, it destroys basically mental function as well, the functions of, <laughs> of your body as well, like erectile dysfunctions and so on and so on. More about it maybe in another video. Now they're like, <laughs> I'm having the feeling like, and now everything is coming out like, you know, like this, like reading this, studying, understanding this stuff, how it affects your life, your brain, your body, your development. It's really like, you know, it's blowing my mind and I want to kind of to, to share it. So <laughs> maybe I think I'll make some other videos as well. So the last thing here, uh, so inability to focus, I mentioned, and the fourth is lack of motivation so as i wrote here dopamine is basically very linked to the motivation and drive and in this anticipation of uh, of reward or whatever you call it so lack of motivation um you don't when you I, when i was doing that i had some experience with this and when i was doing that i was not motivated I was not taking any risks. I was basically just drifting, avoiding everything that has to do with uh, certain punishment, certain uh, critique or whatever, you know. So I was basically avoiding everything possible to, to avoid the, the pain, basically. You're avoiding the pain. So as a student, I was, I was 20 years old, 21, something like that. Um, I visited the psychologist and because my mother was so concerned by my studying and my behavior and so on and so on that I couldn't um, basically study, couldn't focus, couldn't do the things properly as the other kids are doing it, you know. So that's why I wrote here, like uh, here you can maybe, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, here in the last part is like my story with the psychologist and dopamine, dopamine pills. So very, very interesting, right? Because we're talking here about the dopamine. And here's written basically uh, the third part here about the ejaculation uh, by watching porn. And in general, just watching porn, how that affects your brain. So dopamine blocking overstimulation so basically dopamine are blocked because they cannot deal with this overstimulation of, uh, of watching porn of what is happening in front of you because it's not normal so that's a overstimulation it's a similar as a, a use of uh, cocaine and meth and so on the drugs basically this that's a similar experience that you're experiencing by watching porn 
but there is no uh, punishment. Nobody, nobody will punish you. There is no like uh, if you're going to store, if you want to buy chocolate, you have to uh, give the money, right? And here everything is free, no punishment, no nothing, you know, just only reward. That sounds so attractive. So basically, that's uh, it's it's very linked to the dopamine. And my my psych, uh, psychologist at that time when I was twenty, I was feeling like I was crazy visiting with my mother, the psychologist. And basically, uh, now thinking about it, uh, how dangerous that was, because he didn't even help me. He gave me something like he gave me artificial dopamine because I was lacking dopamine uh, in my life, so to say, and some antidepressants and I don't know what the third uh, pills were, but uh, basically one of them, I know that it was dopamine and another one is antidepressant or something like that in order to be able to, to, to attend the, the, the classes on university to study better, you know, to have some uh, motivation to feel better about myself because a lot of, uh, for a long period of time doing, uh, watching porn, masturbating on porn uh, basically it, uh, it's uh, it's changing your, the whole your, the whole experience of the life and now I know why uh, and basically he gave me just artificial like dopamine <laughs> pills and antidepressants so there you go kid you know and just go you know and do the things but basically if you're these pills are basically linked very much to the addiction because they're like kind of high level of dopamine uh, so to say injection in your body that is not normal it's some levels like they call it it's okay but still you can get uh, addicted to it so basically the solution was, there you go, pills, and I don't give a fuck about you, and you'll be fine. That doesn't sound like a solution to me. So basically that story was very, 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 very scary. Uh, and now thinking about it, at that time I was feeling like, okay, probably this is, what should I do? But it didn't feel, it didn't feel right, but I couldn't argue because I didn't have, uh, uh, I didn't own myself, I didn't feel myself, I didn't know anything about myself. And I didn't argue, I didn't say anything, I just uh, said, okay, let's do it, you know, like, uh, whatever, that's, I think, the best, what should I do? Anyways, I hope you find this video kind of, like, uh, you see some value here, and that is not just a placebo effect or something, it's actual uh, changing in your brain, in your chemistry, in your whole experience of life, it's changing, basically, it's happening something. Uh, in your body while watching porn and not watching porn, having this porn lifestyle and no porn lifestyle, it's it's totally different. It's totally different. There are brain scans done on uh, people while watching porn and so on, and the ones that are not doing that, and you can see it basically. So I think I will talk more about this because there is a lot to cover. But I hope you find this video kind of valuable, and if you have any questions, if you have any. Uh, experiences with this write down below I'll be happy I'll be happy to connect with you to talk more about this because I find it very important um, I'm happy to respond I'm happy to hear from you uh, and if you find this uh, channel useful somehow to you um, because I like talking about development and so on and the, the stuff that are important as the same name of this channel you know you can you can get a lot from it if you think about these three words so if you feel it, like if you like this one, like the video. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, um, and I'll make more of these videos. I like to talk about uh, development, as you as you heard already. So basically, why I'm talking about this, because it's very very linked to the personal development, very linked to the male development in many many various areas. So. I hope you will find something useful from this. See you next video. Bye.